Oh, let me see. He's handsome, loving, fishes, hunts. So you gotta say something good too. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. How he brought us together was a miracle. I went on a swim team, which is a mission team, and I was put at his house. He was just a young kid, younger than me, and I don't know if I was interested, but we were. So my parents said, sure, we can house two kids for the summer. Well, we only had a three bedroom home, so she kicked me out of my bedroom. I slept in the basement <laughs> for eight weeks, and she lived in my house, and that's how we met. Uh, I think God knew that there's no way I could find a, a girl on my own. I was too shy, so he dumped one right in my lap. But after we married, we moved back to Michigan where I finished my college career. Then we moved to Orange City, Iowa, where um, I taught, and she became a nurse. And we lived there for 10 years uh, in Orange City. All three of our kids were born there, and it was a great little town. But then we moved to Minnesota. We're both Minnesotans at heart, West Central Minnesota area. And I taught there for 33 years, and she was a registered nurse there. And then about eight, nine years ago, we retired. But we had a cabin up here ever since 1972. And being a teacher, I had time off. So we moved up here with our kids every single summer. Being a biologist, the Holy Spirit has worked in me to enable me to worship through what God has created. And I, I'm intrigued by what I see here. And I think that's part of my hunting and fishing. I just, uh, it's not looking at the creatures themselves, but they honestly direct me right smack back to the Lord. At the age of six, I uh, listened to the Back to God Hour. And they said, if you needed to know Jesus, you needed to accept him as your personal savior. And I did that. My mom was there and uh, knelt and prayed. And I, it stuck with me forever. One of the hard things was Joy when she was in graduate school. I got a phone call from her. And she said, but I just want you to know that I don't think I can believe this Bible stuff anymore. It's not making sense. And she said, I, I just want you to know that. The good Lord gave me wisdom. I shut my mouth and zipped it and said, well, I'll pray about that. And we both prayed all night. Didn't sleep all night. The next morning, we got a phone call from Joy. And this is a verse that came to her. As for you, see what you have heard from the beginning remains in you. If it does, you also will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is what he promised us, eternal life. Our small group is important to us. And outside of that, we have a, a small group of friends. So those two groups and our family, whenever there's a, uh, an issue in our family, whenever there's a real concern, whether it's health or something, we're immediately on the phone and we text that core group, including our grandkids. Prayer is a vital, vital part of our life. Ephesians 2, 4 and 5, which says this, but because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. He sent the Holy Spirit to work in my heart that I would respond and say, yes, I need a savior in like manner. If God loved me that much, then I want to demonstrate his love to people around me. If there's something that I'm supposed to do to be his hands and feet here, then I better do that. Winter and summer really, really are different for us. So we live in our house here in Breezy Point for six months, and we live in a cabin up on Clough Lake for six months. We do tell people we move south for the winter because we do, 20 miles, but hey, we move yeah. south for the winter. Everybody else goes south. Yeah, so. why, why can't we? We might sleep in a little bit in the winter. Instead of getting up at six, get up at seven or whatever, have a lot longer devotions because the day is pretty much free. We still will take a walk every day. Um, we have our own chores. He has to do the dishwasher. He vacuums, <laughs> I don't vacuum. I cook, it's better. Sherry has let me hunt and fish a lot. A lot of duck hunting and grouse hunting in the fall. I cherish it more and more as I get older. Because one, of, one of the fun things that we like to do is to go and experiment on a brand new lake that we've never been on before. And if I can do that, look at the, the graph, look at the map, and actually catch fish out there, 
yes, that's a high for me. And she goes with and does the same thing. So pretty good life. <laughs> it is really summed up with Psalm 16, verse 6, honestly. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. We can look back at incredible tragedies in our lives and some real traumatic times, but overall God has blessed so richly and we, we see that. I mean, we're old folks, okay? We've, we've gone through so much and we have seen so many times how this blessing and this blessing and this one just keep coming and I want to highlight that. I don't want to dwell on the negatives. I want to dwell on how God has been so good to us. You said in the summertime, you just tell me goodbye because I'm going to be gone out in the water. <laughs> right, 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 right. Tell, you want to get rid of me.